All right. So, I guess uh, we can go back to we can go back to the scene with Raph in it now. Oh boy! So you guys are actually meeting in Jeffrey? Where did Raph tell me to meet him? Um, actually, probably in Jeffrey, just for uh, privacy's sake. Okay. Well, then I text back to him. I'm bringing guests. And I don't mention who, just for them bringing guests. Okay. Alright. So, I guess when you get to the Jeffrey, like, uh, Jeffrey will ask if, uh, if, uh, let's just say she has a card. So, Jeffrey will ask if, uh, if Miss Reiko is allowed into your, into your personal Jeffrey. Oh, uh, yeah. If that's the person who uh, Rio is bringing in, um, then yeah. Whatever party is that is, it's fine. All right. You get to meet in Jeffrey. Woo! Woo. Yay. Right, Matt, do you know about Jeffrey? I mean, I, I see his handout. <laughs> yeah, Jess, you should explain that. But to be fair... There's so many NPCs I have to explain. Oh, right. to, to, be fair, to be fair, I don't have him on my social links table, so I don't think my character knows him. I mean, I don't have him at all, so... Oh yeah, I don't. Alright. Alright, so, so Sebastian will be like... Uh, oh. Oh, we haven't actually been inside of a Jeffrey. I mean, I just kind of... Oh, I just kind of got delivery. Oh, I'm so bad. No, I should have introduced you. Oh, no, I'm terrible. No! Ah! Subasa, no, 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 no. It's, it, it's fine. You know what? Sooner or later, it's time It's time for everything. Don't beat yourself up to, up to it. I mean, it wasn't important previously, I guess, so... It's time for everything. <laughs> Jeffrey wasn't important to you previously. Interesting. He's our most useful ally. Mm. Ariel will punch for things that make Jeffrey open up. <laughs> Damn, dude. Not punch, you know, push them. Push the okay. button. Word choices. <laughs> you take things too literally. <laughs> Alright, so Jeffrey will open up. And you'll go to the big one, I assume. So oh, yeah. somewhere outside the school. Yeah. So what Jeffrey is, is mm-hmm. a magical vending machine. Well, a magical spirit possessing every vending machine in the world. And he can expand to form this domain inside that's kind of connected. And you can go visit other people's personal Jeffrey interfaces. And that's what we're doing. So basically, cool. it's like a Walmart or big shopping center inside of a vending machine. That has a soul. That's yeah. cool. And Jeffrey will interject. Now that, that now I have Jeffreys and Jeffreys. Jeffreys and Jeffreys is my banking system, which I can now possess ATMs. And I also have a Jeffrey Express, which uh, is a is a is a delivery company. That's a small startup, but soon I'll be able to travel across every part of the globe or domain. But uh, I need a bit. I've been. I need a bit more revenue before I can get that one fully up and going. I mean, when if I if Reiko hears his voice, she's like, she's like looking around, and then she doesn't see a figure, so she's like starts waving around. Um, Hi, Mr. Jeffrey. Name's name's Reiko. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh! Your your new customer, and you'll just hear some printing noises, and out will pop a card into into Reiko's. It'll float down. And it will have a picture of Ebisu on the back of it. You need this then. Otherwise, I don't know who you are. Ah, uh, you know, um, shit. There is a good saying that. Uh, shit, how do you translate that? That people that you don't know are just your future friends? Friends you haven't met yet. That's pretty accurate, yeah. Yeah, people yeah. people that you haven't met yet are just like friends waiting for you in the future. So, Reiko oh. says something uh, along along the lines. Um, yes, yes, yes. Friends. Friends. Business friends. 
Jeffrey's an interesting person. <laughs> By the way, hello. Hi. I mean, it makes sense, business friends. After all, he's a solo vending machine. Yeah. It's what he tries for. Hey, get into the Jeffrey instance. What do you mean? Question, out of character mostly. Is Jeffrey a soul, so then if I'm doing some roles regarding him, then I guess my modifier for spiritual negotiation comes in? Ooh. You can use it. Damn. Yeah. Oh, man. But it, it's no, it's no... Yeah, I'm not now, just like, wondering if, if he's treated as a soul slash spirit. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so like, like, yeah. waving hands, handshake, like, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Rayla, I'm the new, I'm Mr. Jeffrey, I'm the new customer, and, uh, as maybe you will say, I am a new member of March, or candidate? I mean, I like to help, and I heard you guys are for helping people and making this city a better place, so I'm, I'm all up for it. I don't think there's a major ceremony for introduction in March. I look at Rio. Is there? He'll shake his head. No, we haven't formalized any ceremony at the moment. Congratulations and welcome. Good enough? That's fine. So anyways, have you found anything that sufficiently links Kudlak to this kind of activity? Um, unfortunately, these I sort of hold up these giant books. They're a lot more complex than I've been able to really look into. I've not I've been mainly chasing down how to switch them over, and I got some ideas. I, it's really the problem is it's really hard to just to get to the exact exact things. There's not a lot of information, but there's some things that I did know that we do know. One is it's not him; it's them. Apparently, there's more than one instance of this egg, um, and. It's actually been used in battles as forces, so I have a lot of that marked down. I Fulbright see. actually told I I thought that maybe I if I scanned an egg with my demon decks, that might give us a lot more information. Um, and he said he actually knows some people that have pretty you know quote unquote might know some people that might show off an egg, but only if they've made the deal. Um, so maybe I can give. The demon next to somebody, if we can get that, a lot of it also depends on how soon we need this information. I was also given by Jeffrey, or no, sorry, I was also given by Fulbright a um, a quick read me pamphlet that if I read it quickly right before we're dealing with things, it's gonna it should help me give me a lot of information. But it's pretty much quickly use it then lose it. So timing's got to be perfect. Interesting. And he'll look over at the stack of books. Will you be able to read those in three days? Um, I should be able to get a lot of it done. And Jeffrey says that if I really need to, there's a, um, basically there's a drink that I can take that would basically allow me to read it pretty much as fast as I can. So or I don't know. If, a drink? I, it's somewhat similar to what, um... To what uh, Suzuka had for energy drinks, but it's for reading purposes. But uh. it's not as it's not as habit forming. But it's expensive, so I don't know if we're on a if we're on a tight timetable. Then yeah, I might. But if not, I think I can get this done within two three days. Mm. But if what goes on with Akira, I might not. I might have to do this. Mm, I see. Well then, Reiko here has generously provided us new information that oh, we great. might be able to figure out if Kudlak's feeding habits fit into the current phenomenon. And he'll just step aside and say, Oh, and by the way, Reiko Fujiwara, meet Raphael Dark. Sorry. A pleasure to meet you, and I happily, like, offer a handshake. Shake it. And then if needed, I just, like, give a short rundown what I know. Alright. 
Alright. So you right, see, now actually... we have a profile to try to fit it into to see if we have a lead or we should be looking into something else first. So the first order of business is to find if Kudlaks have any history of preying on women who have emotional, who have relationship issues. He's a shapeshifter, so maybe he does the I'm your boyfriend bit? Possible. Although I have to say, I don't know much about his myth myself. Those books should prove useful. For sure. Yeah. Certainly something in there, I'd imagine. No, actually, this helps out a lot, because it narrows down even farther where I need to look into things. Uh, thanks. How, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you figure this out? <laughs> uh, that's a question to me? Yeah. <laughs> out of character, DM told me. <laughs> Just, please. I we'll give you to understand he... that Miss Raiko has been talking to a number of the victims in the club that she has set up. Oh yeah, then I say, well, I wasn't aware up until this time that you had such a nice organization like this. So I, I like to help people, so I set up, I guess, like formal so-called friendship club. Uh, that people can talk about their problems, if they feel like they cannot handle the very challenging nature of this academy. So I like to help them up, make them feel more at home to overcome challenges. And through that I figured out uh, things regarding uh, things regarding uh, could, this so-called Kudlak's uh, uh, eating habits. That's pretty cool. Uh, what class are you in, if I can ask? Uh, I'm on... Wait, officially am I, an, am I on 1B still? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm from 1B. Got it. Alright. Um... Yay! That's sort of hold up the books. Homework! Yeah. And then, well, I will not hold you back on this homework. But then I, like, shortly also, like, throw up. And then, after get, getting that things from Friendship Club, I kind of remembered what I learned after this cafeteria incident. So, yeah, whatever Kodlax is doing, this can be very, very bad. But I hope, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that I, all of you... Uh, all of us will be able to stop him. It. Yes. Given what occurred with Jack Frost and the other one, it would be very bad if he targeted a mythopoetic with a persona. Yeah. Whatever the demon is. Hopefully we can conclude that it is good lack soon. I mean, I, I'm sure of it, and then like... Her mod of mod tendencies also goes off and basically says what was said earlier that uh, something along the lines of being the leader, uh, whatever she said to me during the during lunch that he's the smart smart guy or something along the lines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, if nothing else, you are the ones who will be able to figure that out. Well, well, thank you for that, but we couldn't make this step forward without your information, Rio says yeah. diplomatically. When there's all trouble, right. we find that we all have to work together as a community. Of course. This... Have you been in a domain, a domain yet, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, DM, was I? You've been in one and two, but with the guidance of your family. Uh, yeah, so I answer, yes I was, but that was more of a, so to speak, family uh, exercise. Wait, you're fi How long have you known about Personas, if I can ask? Uh, it's... well, I'm... I don't know, do you know about Fujibaras and Nakatomis? Um, a little bit. I've been doing some research on the old families. Well, 
I uh, give a small smile. Well, you you can say this persona business, as you said, it's like almost like a family thing. <laughs> that must be that, that must be really cool. I found out about it. I found out about it three months ago. <laughs> really? She perhaps will say. Yeah. Oh. Huh. That's that's kind of weird. I mean, What's no offense. You know, everybody starts off with like different stages and stuff. And obviously, the, the late developers can often become the most uh, experienced, and they don't let their naivety form form their opinions. I mean, I mean, that was a that was a. I'm sorry, I didn't. My naivety that. gets into the gets in the it gets in the way of my opinions all the time. Don't worry about it. Well, well, I mean, mm, it's okay. Well, I guess, it's fine. I, I offer him another hair, another reassuring squeeze, <laughs> and then, like with Saya, I offer him a brilliant smile. Hey, we we will work on that characteristic of yours. <laughs> right, right. Just laugh. <laughs> All right. I mean, uh, Reiko wonders for a moment if she wants to jokingly say, Listen, Tsubasa, you sure that one of your assessors is not Canadian? But <laughs> knowing Tsubasa that he might not take that... Uh, he might be misunderstanding, so I keep quiet for, for now. <laughs> Alright. All right. I guess if any of you guys want to join me for lunch, because like I gotta do a lot of, re do a lot of book reading. I mean, sure. Uh, I mean, as a doctor, if I have, if I didn't have any other scheduled appointments, and I don't think I had, then I'm like, sure, no problem. After all, we are, uh, we're gonna work together. So it's uh, best to um, catch up on that um, time we we didn't really lost. But she's basically talking about that three months that we just didn't really interact too much. And now seeing that you have such noble goals, she's uh, all up to it. So she wants to, uh, yeah, uh, catch up a li little bit. Well. And Sebastian will nod and says, did you know that all of, all, all of 1A is in March? I mean, isn't that special? Uh... <laughs> And then I, uh, then I chuckle. Uh, yeah, actually, regarding your class, this might might be one of the topics I uh, bring in. I mean, that's that's really nice that this is a class that is united by single, but that is united. It's always nice to see it. And then I said, speaking of class, good thing that you brought that. I also. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that was one of the things I tried to figure it out during those past three months, uh, especially since when I saw what was happening uh, with One B. Actually, that was my original uh, reason for starting up Friendship Club, because I don't know if you know, but like One B had very high turnover or exchange <laughs> rate. Sebastian <laughs> starts sweating. He's like, <laughs> well, well, you know, we all, all of our classes have their unique quirks and stuff. <laughs> I, Me, so, no. so, uh, it's 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 very uh, it's, that's that's not bad. I mean, I am all nice and shiny. That's my quirk. So it's it's nice to have something that uh, uh, that shit. What's the word in English? Ugh. That puts you, that makes you characteristic, individual. Uh, you unique? Need yeah, unique. That is all. It's always nice to be mm, unique. That's how uh, this world works. We advance on uniqueness. And yeah, basically, like long story short, she just uh, one of the random topics is that yeah, she she figures out even though. She might not be good with intuition that perhaps uh, this 1A is perhaps project of somebody within Academy. 
because it's it and thinks like there's like a school or force within school who's looking for something or somebody maybe somebody like you uh, like us who have potential and capabilities to make this world a better place you're just glances at raf yeah <laughs> there are things about the school that we've tried to investigate but mm, we haven't found anything besides the bizarre nature in which it's been constructed Certainly, the teachers must have some idea about what they're doing, though. <laughs> Diplomatic. Oh, uh, you think one A sounds special? You say? Uh, yeah. Seems like seems like one uh, A is like a class of very capable and noble individuals like you. Uh, who are, who maybe may, might have been brought by for a purpose. Just deadpan looks at her. Well, if we seem capable and noble, I assure you it's because we've made a lot of mistakes very quickly. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, well, you know what they say, it's serendipity, right? I mean, I mean, you guys are so close-knit, you're like the smallest class, of course you're going to be sticky out to you. Standoffish? Yeah. Wait. No. What? No. I didn't mean that. I mean stand out. I mean, stand out. Yes. Yes. Sort of like waving my hand, you know, like uh, like you know, doing doing thing. I go. These are not the heroes you're looking for. Well, anyways, you should all get to lunch. I'll catch up, but I need to go check the student council room to see if I have any work I need to accomplish first. Uh, I mean, Reiko was looking slightly confused, but then she like, uh, her usual positiveness like kicks in, she gives a big smile. You are selling yourself short, I'm pretty sure. And I won't be holding much of her time. Basically, that's one, that, that's the last thing she says before uh, leaving, I guess. Okay. Seeing that Ryo decided that, yeah, we need, she, he needs time. Yeah, well, I mean, you can either leave or remember Raph did offer if you want to stay for lunch, so... Yeah, 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 then I will happily stay with Raph. I might as well start catching up with uh, him. Shabasa will feel bad and put his portion in half to give to Raph. He didn't make Raph a lunch. Um, we got Jeffrey's. He gets food from everywhere. Just don't technical no. Just, but there's a lot of good food here. Here's... Sort of get another plate um, from Jeffrey, and just you know, sort of just serve yourselves. Take what you want. Oh, you, you, ooh, ooh. I mean, I mean, it'll be rude not to. I mean, okay, we can all share. Yay! <laughs> and you guys, uh, you're one of the good guys. Yeah, I'm like, thank you, thank you very much. I, it will be. Yeah, she doesn't say that. It will be rude to not say that. I will graciously accept your. I accept this. Then yeah, she takes like her... I have no idea about Japanese cuisine, so I'm just taking whatever Reiko would Me? work for her. Yeah. Actually, uh, Raph, it's sort of like all, you know, food from all the world. So like there's hamburgers, there's tacos, there's, um, you know, you know spaghetti wow. and stuff like that. He's all, all over, you know, couscous. I mean, just pick a country at random and it's got food from there. Food from all over the world. A hamburger, place taco, and spaghetti. Good shit, I'm Dave. American. Shut, I'm from California. Shut the fuck up. Good shit, Dave. I love it. I've got our food and the Mexican. That's the world. Real adventures. I love. <sighs> is Coco still... Will... Is, still, is Coco still coco in? Wait, what? Yeah, Chris said he had to attend to Coco. I don't know why she was asking um, Chris. Yeah. Is Chris here? No. <laughs> Are we not? Chris. Chris, Coco! Oh, wait, 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 minutes. <laughs> Coco! Damn. Holy shit, it's nearly 10 p.m. already. Shit, dude. Yeah? yeah. So, while going to check his inbox in the student council room, 
We are be sending out the message for general March meeting to inaugurate the domain and new member. And would be racking his brain because, like, anyone who has taken any Japanese history should... But Fujiwara is an impressive name. Uh, I assume Kira gets to be exempt because she's got a busy schedule ahead of her. Yeah, Kira is exempted. Alright, cool. Holy shit, the motorcycle gang. So, yeah. Fucking Alright. Alright, so... I guess no, Naomi would uh, during lunchtime would text back Akira saying that she was planning on uh, tending to the tending to things school business after school. Oh, so she's busy. No, as in she'll be sticking around. Oh, at the track and shit, or the horse yeah. sprint, horse yard. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's swing by. I want to meet Wait. all the cute horses. Naomi's part of March. No, no, she no. Okay. Kira had sent her a message because she's because because she talked about having her horse, which is her right. boyfriend, which is Kudlak. So Kira and she has her horse shit today. So I, Kira's gonna go over there, taking her earlier invitation to come see the horses. I missed that she was responding to your email and not. Uh, nah, yeah, it's fine. yeah, yeah. So I guess last but not least, before we get to evening stuff, will be Ryu. Because I'm, I'm guess Kaharu and the Suzuka thing, it was just meant to be like getting materials and stuff. But, and then, uh, so I guess uh, Ryu will be talking to Sugihara. Oh boy. Where are you? Am I here? Are you muted? Yeah. No, here. sorry, I was muted. That's what, yeah. <laughs> I said it won't be that bad. It'll probably be worse. <laughs> Just don't punch him. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to go that far. Hey, Sensei, you got a minute? Uh, I guess I always have time for my students. Yeah, I've got a really... question that's been bothering me for a while. Mm -hmm. Why was I chosen over another student to attend the school? What do you mean? Well, from a logical standpoint, if you looked at before I came here, I was pro I would be considered at best average, and then considering the fact that most of the other schools wouldn't touch me with a five foot pole, considering my well, let's just say extracurricular activities, it seems kind of odd that one of the most prestigious schools around here would be even willing to take a second glance at me. Well, well as you experience through the, the testing progress is program is quite rigorous and it, it does include uh, reports as well as just, uh, you know, like your, your, your examinations, you know, like the, the, the medical check you had and the questions you had about your life and uh, I assure you that uh, you're very well suited to this school I mean everybody here is in one well, way or another maybe but it kind of surprised me that you wouldn't I'm sure there are other students who have better records and probably missed out but for me taking the place I mean I doubt very many other students had, shall we say, the violence that I've had. Well, well, you don't believe in second chances? I believe in second chances. I just don't believe in schools that pride themselves on standing at the top give people very many second chances. Well, yeah, I hope this is a pleasant surprise to you then. It certainly was a surprise, I will admit that, considering several of the lower schools flat out refused to even allow me to test. So I was just curious why this school seemed so, shall I say, daring. Hmm. Well, well, besides, uh, besides what the examinations uh, tell you, at least you said that you should at least acknowledge that uh, you, that uh, well, 
he'll just kind of he'll just kind of scratch his chin and he'll be like uh, most of the students here are, have aff- affluence in their lives they're not necessarily buying monetary gains maybe it's something <laughs>